the boot section failed because the required device is inaccessible in Windows 7 and 10. One day, I was trying to boot my computer with Windows 10 CD. Previously, I was having Windows 7, 32-bit Windows 7 installed in it. And when I tried to boot with my CD, finally, I got this message displaying in my windows and I was just worried what is the problem the boot section failed because the required device is inaccessible in windows 7 and 10 so when it happens what you need to do is the first solution is go and open your bias setting in order to open a bias setting keep on pressing delete restart your computer and press delete okay Restart your computer Restart your computer And keep on pressing delete Keep on pressing delete key keep on pressing delete key it will take you to the boot section boot menu so once you go to your bias settings go to bias in bias go to advanced setting In bias, go to advanced setting. Check for boot priority. Check for boot priority. Okay, restart your computer. Keep on pressing delete key, it will take you to BIOS. In BIOS, go to advanced setting and check for boot priority. In different computer, you find uh, this boot priority presented in the different way. It depends upon the manufacturer of BIOS. So don't need to worry, once you open the BIOS, go to BIOS, okay? And you can see a different icons like advanced settings and other settings, okay? Integrated peripherals some on the top or some in line so you just uh, go on every icons and check what there is now boot priority somewhere you'll find the boot priority uh, like uh, first boot devices cd-rom second boot devices hard disk third boot devices uh, cd uh, uh, sorry third boot devices floppy disk okay so uh, what you need to do is make your first boot device as cd-rom go and click on first boot device icon and select cd-rom as a first boot device and restart your computer and just try to boot from the CD again if that did not help you I tried that that did not help for me what I tried next is I just open my casing okay CPU just uh, open your casing and reset reset the CMOS reset the CMOS there are different ways to reset the CMOS. Open the CMOS battery. Open the CMOS battery. Put it back again after 5 minutes. Open the CMOS battery. Put it back again after the five minutes okay in this way you can just show open the CMOS battery put it back again after five minutes in this way you can just reset the CMOS or find the jumper cleaner find the jumper cleaner find the jumper cleaner
use the jumper cleaner to reset CMOS. Use the jumper cleaner to reset CMOS. If you don't know to do it, go to my channel Pops View. I have uploaded a video in my playlist Hardware and Solutions. Check go to the channel Pops View and just go to my playlist and check for the hardware and solution you'll find there how to reset the CMOS battery how to do the jumper cleaner use that method and clean the jumper again put your CD back into the CD-ROM and try to boot your computer one time this solution helps the people sometimes just it do not ok one time I tried to fix this problem with these solutions but it just did not help for me but for most of the people these solutions helps them ok but if it helps for you and if it uh, doesn't help for you just uh, go for the next solution the next solution is and what you need to do the next is what I did next is I was booting Windows 10 CD ok and I was previously having a Windows 32 bits operating system into my computer and I suddenly uh, thought of putting the same Windows 7 CD and 32 bit Windows 7 CD sorry uh, 64 bit Windows 7 CD and just I thought of booting it and I wanted to see whether it is booting or not and I just uh, kept the Windows 7 CD back by removing the Windows 10 CD and I tried to boot my computer Finally I saw it started loading the files and I was able to boot my computer back again with the same Windows 7 CD. So finally after booting the Windows 7 I was thinking that finally there was no problem with my system I guess because I was able to boot Windows 7 CD. And once I opened my Windows 7 operating system into my computer I kept uh, Windows 10 CD in the CD-ROM and I just opened that Windows 10 CD-ROM and just clicked on setup.exe and I was surprised that it started loading files so in this way I just uh, booted this uh, Windows 10 CD it was not directly accepting from the CD-ROM but it accepted after I just installed my Windows 7 and just uh, opened my computer and went to this uh, open my computer and just uh, went to the CD-ROMs and I just uh, opened it and I just uh, loaded the Windows 10 CD I opened it and I just clicked on Windows 10.exe suppose uh, and once I just opened it and clicked on setup.exe of Windows 10 CD and it was finally loading files and I was able to install completely Windows 10 into my computer so this can be the issue means uh, if you are using the older version of windows if you are using the older version of windows into your computer ok and means uh, lower version of windows like windows 7 windows 8 and you are trying to use the higher version of windows latest version of windows 10 it may not accept because uh, your hard drive already has the lower version of windows and maybe there is some issue i can't explain you everything there might be some issue so this is the way i just uh, booted my windows 10 series so even if that doesn't help you if you want to boot a windows 10 and if you are getting this error just try to fix in this way and it really helped me a lot and i just was able to boot windows 10 and just you can see here i am using windows 10 operating system so you can just uh, follow this methods to boot if you are getting this error and if this uh, issue is solved okay if this issue is solved so just uh, be in touch we will explore our knowledge and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and enjoy installing windows 10 in the different way in a different manner i hope this problem will be solved this issue will be solved by these methods have a nice day